Hi everyone. So I got an order off Etsy to make one of those um, hexagon tables that I've made before in the summer. So first of all, I chose my wood. I'm cleaning it from nails and all um, obstacles because I'm using reclaimed wood. And I roughly marked it so I can make rough cuts and then I will adjust as I go. I put the saw on a 30 degree angle and now I'm going to cut. I'm laying the rough cuts down on the, the shape the table will be to make sure I got all the pieces. So I have two pieces that are too short. I need to recut them, or actually one piece. Um, I cut one extra, but it's too short as well. I need them to be 46 centimeters long. So I'm gonna cut a new one and then shave off the edges on the other nine because I need them to be precise. Also number them now so you know where to put them back. So I marked the base where I'm going to glue the slabs to. I'm going to cut it and now I'm uh, numbering the slabs again because the number came off when I sanded them. I built a rail for my saw so the lines come out straight so now I'll cut. So the... <laughs> didn't work very well. The, what do you call it? A, the rail worked. The problem is that this saw blade is bendy. Mm, can you see? So it started leaning sideways and I got a bad cut. Hopefully I'll be able to fix it. Um, I filled the big uh, cracks or gaps or um, holes that I had, uh, the ones that I just didn't want to keep because they were too deep. Now I stained the wood. Now I seal the um, slabs that I'm not going to stay. I'm marking where the screws will go to connect the rims to the foot. Now I'm going to place all the slabs in place. I numbered them so I need to put them exactly in the same order otherwise they might not fit. Mm. Okay, you can watch me, it's probably going to suck. And I'm definitely deleting that from the video.
So I numbered the legs and each space for the right leg and now I'm going to pre-drill um, some holes for the screws. So I uh, made a boo-boo. I forgot that one of the slabs had some whitewash on it. One of these, these guys. So I just added some white uh, whitewash on there. And now it's looking more like the picture.